So let me ask you this. What does the term trust the process mean? We all hear this term so, so much, but uh, what does it specifically mean? To mean? What does it mean to you? When I think of the term trust the process, it's that you are, um, you're committing yourself to something that, that's different for you, something that is a little bit out of the ordinary, that maybe scares you a little bit, and you have to be trusting. You have to trust that um, either you know what you are doing, or that the person that is training you knows what they're doing. Are there bad trainers that may tell you to do something that you shouldn't be doing? Sure, of course there are. Um, are you going to mistake someone the way that could possibly set you back and hinder your progress? Of course you are. Uh, everyone is really, really unique in terms of what is most optimal for your own body, for your own uh, metabolic needs, for your own blood type needs, for even your, your very own, everyone has their own structural needs that are different from everyone else's because we're all hugely unique individuals. So when we refer to the term trust the process, you're committing yourself to this process, it's something that's new, it's something that's maybe a little bit intimidating, and it's something that's definitely different than, than what you've been doing before or you would not need to trust it. So you need to think that uh, you are doing the right thing, that there is nothing that is wrong with you, that you're not going to be able to achieve what your desired goal is. Um, there's nothing hormonally hugely imbalanced generally. If you are really, really concerned about a hormonal imbalance, you can do a battery of tests through your doctor. If your doctor is hassling you about that or just simply doesn't want to refer you to the proper, proper testing facility, I have uh, access to the Virginia Hopkins hormone testing kits that you can order and uh, you perform them yourself, send them back to the lab and then they process it and send your results back along with any um, supplementation that you may need to get your hormones balanced in, in line. But generally that isn't usually a problem. Um, it's just simply that we have not been trusting the process long enough. Uh, some people see results faster than others, especially people that are just starting out. It's called the newbie gains. And those are your body is shocked and is just responding in all these crazy huge ways to all this new stimulation but as you have been training for a while you reach places you reach plateaus where it's harder to see change and it takes a longer time and often because you're yourself working on your own body it can be nearly impossible for you to see the change a lot of people rely on a scale as their um, as as what they measure their change by and that really uh, is can be not accurate there's no reason why it should not be able to move down. You, you can, uh, you just have not maybe found the proper numbers that your body is going to thrive at in order to get the, the numbers to come down. But that should not be your sole term of measurement to, to see how, uh, your, to mark your progress by. I know personally, I don't uh, take the body fat testing as that can fluctuate uh, based upon your water weight even. So what I use is calipers. I measure myself with calipers and with uh, um, just a standard like sewing measuring tape. And that works really well. You're able to keep track, uh, do that about once a week and you can see the, the changes in your body that way. Uh, make sure that you're dating wherever you're keeping track of this at and that the measurements are accurate. Um, so that you're taking the, the measurement in the same place every single time. But you're not, there isn't any, necessarily anything wrong with you. You just have to trust it. Trust again that you know what you're doing or that your trainer does. If you really, really don't trust your trainer, maybe you should find a different trainer. Everybody is different. Everyone approaches fitness differently. It reminds me an awful lot of religion sometimes in that there are so many different views and so many different ways and there's old ways and new ways and this other new way. And what you just need to do is find what is right for you. Like I said, it's based upon uh, your, your individual metabolism, it's based upon your blood type, it's based upon your musculature, 
and even your your bone structure some people have uh, that their bones their joints are shaped a little bit different and you can work and work on muscle and balance all you want and it's not going to change change that structural so it's just finding the balance of what is proper for you is finding the proper numbers of what you should be consuming um, learning where your uh, your cortisol threshold is at so that you can train properly and not overtrain, overstimulate yourself and pour a whole bunch of um, boost those cortisol levels up because we don't want to do that either because then you're <laughs> again hindering yourself. So find find that balance. And if you need help finding that balance, there is absolutely nothing wrong with helping. That's what we're here for. That's what we go to school for is to help people because it's such an awesome journey. It's such an awesome opportunity. And if you have embarked on this, sir, you should just stay. Just really trust it. Trust it. It's such an amazing journey to watch to watch your body do all these amazing things and watch yourself be able to accomplish things that you thought that you could never accomplish. Just, just don't give up, please. <laughs> do you remember the guy that gave up last year? Neither does anybody else. Come on, keep going just trust it you'll reach your goals i promise you will you just have to find the right balance